Hey, it's six o'clock in the morning. Why not do a little Bible chat? So I'm on this Bible journey, um, reading it very slowly, word for word, and really just taking it all in. Trying to understand where people are coming from when it seems like this book is often weaponized, meaning it's used to promote hatred or division, separation, elitism sometimes, or just very a lot of judgment. Pretty judgy. Now we're humans, so everybody judges. Christian, Bible loving or not. So let's just put that out there. The purpose of me doing this is not to put down the Bible, not criticize or say it shouldn't be or anything like that, or to just be biased against it. I'm really just trying to get an understanding of where people are coming from. And what I'm finding is the more I read, the more I just don't get where they're coming from because there's so much. I'm only on what the third book? I just finished Exodus. I'm going into Leviticus and I'm just like, one of the things I see happening in our country, at least America, a lot are accusations and concerns and fears, like big time fears about like demonic things, satanic things and witchcraft. Did you read Exodus and Leviticus? If you read the end of Exodus and the beginning of Leviticus and you took out the word, you crossed off the name Bible on the book, you took out the word tabernacle, you took off the name Aaron and Moses, you kind of took Israelites, all those words away that would identify it to the Bible. What would you say when you read the formation of the tabernacle, the uses of the tabernacle, and the usage of the priests, their rituals, they're called rituals. I'm gonna guess with all the blood spattering the live animal sacrifices, the horns at the corners and all of the anointing with oils and incense and burning things and tearing apart the animals limb by limb and burning them and whatever. I'm going to guess the words satanic, demonic or witchcraft would come to mind. Just going out on a limb here. But you know, you're a, you read the Bible, you know it's the Bible, so you say, no, it's not. It can't be. It's the Bible. It's all done for good. So why is it that when other people have their own rituals using herbs and spices and, I mean, I don't think we do the live animal thing anymore, but, you know, other types of rituals are called spells or whatever they're called. Why do we call them demonic or witchcraft? Maybe, is it true that maybe they're not? And maybe there's more common ground here than you're giving it credit for.